Welcome to Real Talk with Pinks. Thank you so much for joining the channel. I see we have so many people new on the channel. And you're in the right place. If you're joining us for the first time, please subscribe, like, and comment on the channel. So today we have a special guest on the show. I'm gonna ask her to introduce herself and then I will introduce our topic for today. Me. Um, my name is Itabele Moreke Chabana. Um, I'm an IT specialist by profession. Um, I'm currently employed as a cybersecurity architect in, in, a te in the telecom space. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for me for coming. Today we are celebrating Women in Engineering Day across the world. So I thought it would be a great day to talk about women in technology. That's why I invited May Tabeling. So May Tabeling, please tell us about Internet Society in Lesotho. I hear you are the chairperson. <laughs> um, yes, I am the current chairperson. Um, Internet Society is a global uh, society that the aim, uh, the vision of the of the society is to promote open and globally connected society. Um, I'm sure we realized during the pandemic that it was so critical for the world to be connected. It was critical for businesses to to run, and the internet came through. So it's it now more than ever. Uh, it's the time to promote everyone being connected on the internet and everyone having access to the internet. Mm -hmm. Even the UN has declared internet access as a fundamental right. So mm -hmm. on top of everything we need in this world, we need people connected. So uh, for the Lesotho chapter, um, we concentrate on the challenges that we have in Lesotho uh, for internet access. And we work with uh, in different uh, partners or, mm -hmm. and different individuals. We work by volunteering to the society mm -hmm. and we do activities around the country that promote internet access and bridging the digital gaps that we have in Lesotho. Oh, okay. So tell me, why is it important for more women and more girls to get into the technology space or study STEM subjects? Because if anyone is watching, they have a little brother or sister, especially the young girls. Why is it important for them to get into tech? Um, Science thrives with diversity um, or in technology as well. If, if for any uh, innovations, we need to have a diverse skill, a, a diverse um, community to bring in change. We need to have uh, women bring a different perspective than men do. Okay. So when we have different, um, or, or when we've included people from different backgrounds and different gender, then there are more questions there are more inputs into what science can do. Mm -hmm. And that brings about solutions that don't only address things from men's perspective, but mm -hmm. also from a women's perspective. Mm -hmm. Also in the world, there's, there's still a huge uh, pay gap. So mm -hmm. I think uh, in technology, there, there has been realization that there are good pays. So if more women join, join the industry, it means they'll also be upgraded into the higher pay scales. Mm -hmm. So this mm -hmm. is going to be an, um, what you currently experience in the world where men are getting more paid than women. Okay. Yeah. Does that apply to Lesotho? Because I hear people say usually they read about US studies where they say there's a gender pay gap. Does that also apply in Lesotho? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> Definitely. It does apply. Um, there's still many cases where a male counterpart in the industry gets paid more than a woman. Really? Yes. Okay. Uh, not only in, in the technology space, I think mm -hmm. uh, across all industries. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, so tell us about the opportunities that are there in technology, in engineering, in STEM in general, because uh, all we saw during COVID-19 was that so many companies were going online, people were working from home, and we saw that gap even uh, between people who have access to technology and those that don't have access. What are the opportunities and how can young people, especially in Lesotho, tap into those opportunities? Um, the world of technology um, has many job opportunities, for instance. Mm -hmm. um, currently, I think at the top of my head, the top ones would be web developers. Like you're saying, many businesses are going online. Mm -hmm. So this means there's need to put for people to have to develop websites, mm -hmm. code that runs behind that. And therefore, we need web developers, we need software developers. Uh, software is everything that we we use. There's hardware, and then mm -hmm. like Facebook runs on, on a software. Mm -hmm. So we need many people who are going to be creative and produce uh, softwares or develop softwares that run the internet and everything in technology. Mm -hmm. um, uh, another important one is uh, data scientists. Okay. Um, 
with with different um with t- to be a leader uh, mm. as a business in technology you need to have or to make informed decisions based on your customer needs mm. and then that means you need to collect information or data so you need scientists that are going to analyze all the data that you con- co- collect about your customers mm. to do forecasts and all those in order to bring about innovative solutions so mm-hmm. it, it's critical that uh, people join the data scientists field um we also need uh, information security analysts and mm-hmm. professionals like me uh, <laughs> as as the world as the world is moving into technology we need to keep our information secure mm-hmm. whether it be company secrets whether it be private information about you know there's huge uh thing about gdpr protecting consumer information or uh, personal identifying information so we need uh, information security analysts to yeah to basically protect information whether it be customers whether it be business information whether it, we it be making sure the networks are secure mm. or customers are able to safely yes. use uh, networks and the internet is that what we call cyber security yes oh okay <laughs> <laughs> I hate people talk about it, but I wasn't too sure what it entails. That, that is that. Yeah, it sounds like there's a lot of opportunities in the in a the lot. tech space, mm. but in Lesotho in particular, obviously I'm not in the tech space, but I see challenges. Yes. We are not really tech savvy, and our country is not really connected. We have issues, especially in the rural areas. Not even just the rural areas in Lesotho, we are not uh, digitally connected because maybe data is expensive. We don't have access. <laughs> I don't know that's just me. <laughs> so what are some of the challenges that Lesotho has and how 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 do we overcome those challenges? Uh I think uh firstly we need to get educated in the in the industry. We need to invite as many young people both boys and girls okay to to take part in the or to be trained or educated in the technology field. Mm. And this we can achieve by either introducing career guidance at a younger age and exposing them to this um there are many initiatives um like uh There are many coding co- girls for coding or, or there are many initiatives that that are done that mm-hmm. guide girls and boys towards the industry and also it's important to have mentors mm-hmm. uh, people who are already in the industry uh, need to be available to mentor um uh, growing individuals into okay. into the into the space mm-hmm. uh some of us we just because we were good in maths and science then mm-hmm. we got into it but mm-hmm. nobody truly said this there's, there's many opportunities that you that you can get um so the challenge in the sutu is you have many other problems <laughs> it's not easy for instance to convince the government that people are hungry people mm. are sick mm. and then to say let's take this funds to technology mm. because mm. the first thing is we need to do we need to make sure children are fed we need to make sure that mm. um basic people needs. get basic mm. needs yeah mm. but we still need to, to try the balance because we can't be left behind yes. the whole world is moving uh so we need to prioritize um getting technology in the hands of everyone yes we need to prioritize expanding the infrastructure whether mm-hmm. it be telecoms into even remote areas of of uh, of the country not only rely on pro- service providers mm. but the government must be able to extend that beyond where the telecoms are at standing in infrastructure things like getting internet to schools tablets phones there is a huge um, benefit for instance if you can give a child who has never seen or have never seen a computer for instance mm. you give them a tablet uh, in a remote area in Kachasnek mm. you get you give them internet with uh I'm a tablet with internet mm. in a week he would have touched him his siblings his parents mm-hmm. we would have introduced this idea to this little community for them to see beyond where they live okay. and that can encourage that young child to be motivated to grow their area or to grow out of that to become something better and to join the tech space Oh wow. Yeah. Oh my god, I'm so interested in this. <laughs> so I, I want to go back a bit. Now that you've mentioned the challenges, what are you guys as internet society doing? Do you guys run workshops where you encourage young people to maybe sign up, especially in high schools where they still have opportunity to study that further universities? Can you talk to some of those things that you guys do? Um, yes. We do webinars because now it's covid times we're not able to hold physical workshops but okay. we do webinars uh, that address many issues surrounding use of the internet mm-hmm. we did um stuff like uh cyber security awareness for children mm-hmm. our children are forever on the internet so we we did some sort of awareness we talked to other 
things like police officers mm-hmm. to try and see how how to try and show them what technology how technology can help them in their area of work. Okay. We go to different high schools. Um, we tell them about the Internet Society. We teach them about digital skills, any basic skills to use the computer and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Sometimes we do donations to deserving schools that that could be uplifted mm-hmm. and things like that. Uh, what we wish to do further, uh, we need to do community networks. Okay. Uh, for instance, every like now you're saying data is expensive, which 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 we'll talk about this another time. It's really expensive. <laughs> Like I said, I'm coming to you another time. So we we need to build things like community networks. Imagine um, an instance where you have like in districts, there'll be a DA's office, there'll be maybe a community library. Mm -hmm. If we can introduce something like a computer lab Mm -hmm. in in that space Mm -hmm. um, with internet access for, for everyone to freely access it. Mm-hmm. So we, we, we wish to go into projects like that where we set up a, a community network, mm-hmm. uh, get it powered for at least a year, but okay. we also need something that the community can sustain beyond existence of the Internet Society. Mm-hmm. So we, we invite communities that, that, that say we have already started this um, and how can we empower us? And then okay. we come through and provide internet access and computer labs and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. So if anyone is watching, maybe they want to sign up their little sister or something. Where mm-hmm. do they find you guys and what's the process? Um, we have a website, isoc.org.co.ls. Okay. Or internetsociety.org.co.ls. Okay. Or you can join the global one. But um, you can also find our Facebook page. It's Internet Society Lusotho. You'll get information about us there. Oh, okay. Yeah. And lastly, I want you to talk about uh, the fourth industrial revolution and what some of uh, some of us who are not <laughs> in the tech space can do so that we are not left behind. Uh, and what, Lis- what Lesotho in general can do uh, to get us up to speed. Um, in simpler terms, I would say the fourth industrial revolution is using technology and um, to, to, to advance or to replace traditional electronic and manufacturing processes okay. to allow them to be done by computers, by robots, and, and that. Um, obviously, the benefits are efficiency. Uh, if, if you can replace a person doing this, coming up with this, and then a computer will take less time. That okay. means there's more productivity. Oh, okay. um, uh, I, I, I know people say they're going to take our jobs. Mm, mm. I usually say, let's let computers do the boring stuff and we leave. Let's, let's let... Uh, all these innovations that we've come up with as a human race mm-hmm. do the work so that we do things that matter to humanity. Let's let's leave, let's communicate, let's be present and stop mm-hmm. doing manual things that computers can do. So it's mm-hmm. basically using technology like artificial intelligence and all those things to do analysis, to do even... Um, there are jobs that are hazardous to a human being. Oh, okay. Uh, things like imagine a pilot learning to fly a plane for the first time, mm. it's dangerous to just put in somebody, like, this. let's say this is a new airplane. Mm. Imagine putting in people in there for the first run. Oh, okay. You know, you can let a robot run that plane yes. without people and, and test it. Mm-hmm. Things like working in fire departments, there are activities that we can say, let's take out the human out of these dangerous situations mm. and let robots run, take run with it. I see. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. This is so clear. I'm so <laughs> interested in this, but I'm sure we are running out of time. <laughs> I was so interested to hear this. What are your last words uh, that you can say as we celebrate Women in Engineering Day? I would say um, it, this industry is a cool industry. It we, is we cool. Do, we do smart things. <laughs> We produce uh, smart <laughs> things. We we change the world. Mm. Um, and let's not leave girl children behind. Yes. Let, let, mm. let's, let, let's all be part of innovation. Let's all be part of the future. And lastly, let's let the internet change our lives mm. uh, and bring value to us as individuals and to our country. The internet is for everyone and we all deserve to have part. Thank you so much, May Tabelin, for coming. Oh, guys, I enjoyed this conversation so much. Thank you for watching. I'm dressed by the beautiful Bilono. Please check them out on Facebook and on Instagram. Thank you for watching. See you in the next episode. Bye. Bye.